Lent is ritual, customs, and tradition. Many rituals, customs, and traditions have developed in our beautiful Catholic faith, and especially during the celebration of Lent. They help us to remind the importance of the gifts of this holy time. And here are five common practices. Ash Wednesday. This is the first day of Lent. It's a day of fast and abstinence. Many Catholics will gather for the Eucharist today and will receive a small mark of ashes on their foreheads as a sign of penitence. The ashes are made from the palm branches that were blessed on Passion Sunday the previous year. Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras comes from the French words Tuesday and fat. At one time, the penitential fast during Lent in the Roman Catholic Church prohibited the consumption of fat and oil. So, the ingredients for rich foods were used up prior to Lent. The last day being the Tuesday before Ash Wednesday. Sometimes people call this Pancake Tuesday. In other parts of the world, it's known as Shrove Tuesday, from the verb to shrive, that is, the action of hearing confession, of assigning penitence to the penitent and to absolve. Often public penitents would celebrate the Sacrament of Reconciliation just before Lent and do penance throughout Lent. Fish Fridays. During Lent, meat is not consumed on Fridays by Catholics. It's been a long custom to eat fish on Fridays instead of meat. Often Catholic religious calendars will have a little symbol of a fish on Fridays to remind us of this form of abstinence. Stations of the Cross. This is a devotional practice often embraced during Lent, through which the faithful meditate on the passion, crucifixion, death, and burial of Jesus. Most Catholic churches have paintings, carvings, or statues representing the traditional 14 stations of the cross around the interior of the church in order to facilitate this prayerful devotion. Sometimes these last moments of Jesus' life are portrayed by actors in an outdoor procession. Fasting from the Alleluia. In the Roman Rite, we refrain from singing the Alleluia during Lent. We fast from this acclamation of praise to the risen Lord so that we may sing it with even more joy and even more robustly at Easter.